We are back at it with another gear review, and today we're talking about a brand that recently said the future is the trail. They are known for the road running, and they're not giving up on the roads, but they definitely realize there is definitely room to grow in the trail scene, and that is Brooks Running. Brooks has decided to invest heavily in the trail team and the trail line. They're definitely dropping a lot of great shoes, and now a new apparel line. Today we're going to be talking about the new Brooks high point trail line we're talking about a jacket a shirt shorts some socks and you can never leave out the shoes this stuff was all sent to me by brooks for free but honestly they'll have no say in what i say to you guys and you will get my honest opinion every time so let's sit back relax and let's learn more about the high point from brooks <laughs> The first item up is the shorts, the high point shorts. These are a seven inch two in one. And this is more of like your traditional two in one. I feel like of late we're seeing a lot of two in ones where the, the out, the inseam, this, the inner liner is about eight inches. And then the, the shorts are a little bit shorter. This is definitely that traditional two in one. Uh, honestly, I really enjoyed these shorts. I The one thing I love about these shorts are the materials they're using. They are super light and super airy. If you can see, the shorts are very, like they're perforated. There's little holes on the outside. So when you are sweating or you do get them a little wet, they're able to breathe and they're able to dry. In the back, you have three pockets. You have one big one where I was able to put my phone in and then two side ones, which are really nice. These ones secured some gels and some uh, salt tablets. Uh, all three pockets on the back work really well. The one thing I loved about the center pocket is the, the zipper is pretty... It's large, but not heavy. So when I was reaching and grabbing my phone and zippering it back up and down, it just handled it really well. Sometimes I hate when a short has too small of a zipper and I am running out on the trails and I try to unzipper it and it's really hard to get. They also added this like little pull so you are able to get it and boom, quickly do it. Honestly, the pockets are really nice. Uh, I took these out, this one right here, there's a pocket right here and then there's a pocket right there. So we're talking about two little pockets and they're little separate pockets because it's cool because I want my salt tabs in one and I want my gels in the other. And that worked out really nicely because also when I do have a gel, I don't want to throw it on the ground. So I have one pocket I can stash the gels, keep the dirty ones by themselves and keep the clean ones where they're at as well. Again, the, sh the aligner itself is just really nice. Again, the, the upper short is perforated, but so is the actual liner. And honestly, it's just... To the touch when you're sweating a ton, it just works really well. You know, I really enjoyed running in these shorts. My only gripe about the short is I found them to be a little too long for me. I felt like I was out playing basketball when I was out in the trails. I think if they were a five inch, just cut this blue part right here, I think they would be really nice. I think, honestly, if the two in one, you keep the, the liner the way it is and make this maybe a four inch, I think it would be amazing. I love the pockets. I love the materials they were using. I just, I'm not good, I'm not good enough of a runner, Courtney DeWalter, to wear whatever I want. And honestly, to me, I just felt, I felt awkward running in these, just to look. And I know that's vain, but I'm so used to running in five inch shorts, it was kind of a deal breaker for me. Honestly, I'm going to continue to wear these. I just wish they were five inch. I just, like I said, the older I'm getting, the shorter my shorts are getting. And this was a, a prime example. I threw these on and right away I was like, just a little too long, just two inches too long. Uh, but honestly, the materials are great and they handle the run extremely well. Um, so honestly, if you are a seven incher or a little bit longer, these are definitely the shorts for you. If you're like me that wants a short, short, maybe this one might be a little bit of a pass for you. Next item up is the t-shirt that they sent to me. This is their Atmosphere 2.0 shirt. But again, if you notice, fits the color palette extremely well. It matches the shirt, shorts, the, sh uh, the shoes, and the jacket that I'll touch base with. Uh, this shirt was just really nice. Again, uh, the materials they are using are going to be fantastic for the spring and summer months, even the fall. This is, again, a little perforated. So I was able to breathe when I was running. This definitely wicked away the sweat extremely well. I took this when it was a little bit chillier. I loved it. I took it when it got really hot. I'm talking about like I'm sweating 80 degrees out. And this did really well. I threw on a pack and 
when the one thing I have an issue sometimes with the shirt is it rubs a little here and on the back, if you're wearing a shirt that's a little too thick, it gets really hot. This one didn't affect me at all. If you look at the back, it's pretty, you know, one material, it's pretty wide open and quite frank, it was able to air out even with the pack on. And then honestly up front, the cut they did, so it's not like your typical t-shirt like this, where it's cut here. The way it was cut, it really made it really nice to have a pack on it. I had no rubbing here. And quite frank, you probably would have no idea I wore this with a pack. There's no ripping or tearing in this material. That's the one thing I hate about wearing a pack more than anything. You wear a pack and a lot of times the shirt is really, it's okay, but not like extremely nice materials. Pretty much destroys it right here. Um, but I had no issues with that at all. The one nice little feature they added was a little tab here. And I know that sounds really stupid, but after a run, hanging this up in my the, my trunk on my Subaru while I drove down, I drove home, was really nice to have. And then when I came home, I put it in the tub, rinsed it off a little bit, and it was able to dry. Because the one thing you never want to do is take a wet shirt like this and just throw it in the hamper. Your house is going to smell. The other nice thing about this shirt, and I did put this through the test, it's odor resistant. So I decided I'm going to wear this for multiple runs. Not just on the trails, but I took it out on the roads and on the treadmills. And quite frank, it didn't really hold on the odor. I was washing this after wash, after wash, after wash. And the one thing I hate about clothes sometimes is you wear it too many times and you sweat too many times. You smell it. Yep. Can't get that smell out. Or the grime starts right there and you just can't get it out. Quite frank, this shirt, the Atmosphere 2.0 by Brooks, it looks fantastic and it fits really nice. I would say this is a medium for me and if it's more relaxed and I'm okay with that. When I'm out on the trails, I'm using handheld. It's really nice to have a little bit more relaxed tea, but I was really surprised because when I did put a pack on it, it didn't feel rubbing. It didn't feel out of place. It just sat on my body really well. This shirt, again, uh, part of the, the whole high point line. I really enjoy this and I find myself grabbing this a lot. <laughs> The next item up is the High Point Waterproof Jacket. This is the gem of all of them. This piece is so freaking nice. It is waterproof. I've taken this out on wet, rainy runs and I did not get wet underneath. You sweat a little bit and I think sometimes people get confused with that. Oh, I took it out and I still got wet underneath. No, this thing protects you from the water coming at, into the jacket and it also keeps you nice and warm. The one thing I will say is they, they add a lot of spots for it to breathe. So while I found with other rain jackets that are 100% waterproof, I sweat a lot underneath of it. And it, after a while, you're just kind of a little over hot and you're like, hmm, maybe I'll just take the rain on. Now, but you can see it right here. There's the huge, perfect, these are huge holes for your back to breathe. And quite frank, it works really nice for me. And they have these little functionality. If you do have it all the way up and you want this in there, you can throw your your jacket through here, you got air perforations here, here, here. So it's definitely a jacket. It looks good, keeps the water off of you, but also it just, it kept me, I, I wasn't drenched underneath of it. And that's huge for me because in the, the spring, we definitely get a good amount of rain here and being able to still, still hit the trout with a jacket that looks fantastic and extremely functional is really nice. The only thing about the jacket that kind of confused me is they have like these buckles right here. I don't know. Maybe if I was wearing this with a vest underneath of it, um, I kind of get it. That's really the only thing that kind of just confused me about this jacket. Um, the other, the one nice thing I do really like about this is, so you put this over here and there's a little spot on the inside for you to wrap your hat on there so it stays. So if you're wearing your hat forward, it stays in place. Quite frank, like I said, this jacket is going to cost about $200. It's definitely worth it. If you're looking for a waterproof jacket that looks great, I can wear this with jeans when I take my kids to school, go get a cup of coffee, and it keeps me dry. And then also taking out on the trail, protects me from the rain, but lets me air out the pits, the back, whatever it is. This jacket is a, it's, it's a huge plus to me. And honestly, this is a jacket I'm constantly... Last but not least is the shoe. Now, this isn't necessarily part of the High Point collection, but it completes the look. Again, look at head to toe. You rock this, you're going to be super matchy. Well, I don't always love matching. It definitely fits the vibe of what Brooks was going for. And honestly, the Catamount 2 
hands down is one of my favorite shoes right now. This is a shoe that is fast, nimble. Um, you definitely feel ground. So that's one thing to always mention. If you're running out on the trails, you're going to feel some rocks. You're going to feel roots. So if you hate that, the shoe's not for you. But quite frank, I loved running in the shoe. I felt fast. I was able to drop the paces on here and I felt secure. I ran this out on a lot of wet, wet terrain. You can definitely see the mud. I try to clean them up as possible, but I felt secure when I hit to, to keep going on the trails and push off. This handled it extremely well. The upper, very breathable. And quite frank, the booty, like it's just like a gust of the tongue, but like it's like almost feels like you're in a booty. This is really nice. I got a lockdown and I forgot the shoe was on. This honestly might be the shoe I'm wearing for my upcoming 50K because I liked it so much. I felt fast. The materials they're using down here, if you look at it, it's not a high stack. And on the trail, I don't want a huge stack, but the foam just does its job. It works really well. It feels responsive. It feels soft underfoot. So when I am running on spots, like I said, you can feel rocks, you can feel them, but for the most part, it just delivers a very smooth and comfortable ride. Again, not necessarily part of the high point, but it definitely completes the look. And this, the jacket, two of my hands down, my favorite pieces I've tested and worn this winter and spring. Last but not least is the shoe. Now, this isn't necessarily part of the high point collection, but it completes the look. Again, look at head to toe. You rock this, you're going to be super matchy. Well, I don't always love matching. It definitely fits the vibe of what Brooks was going for. And honestly, the Catamount 2, hands down, is one of my favorite shoes right now. This is a shoe that is fast, nimble. Um, you definitely feel ground. So that's one thing to always mention if you're running out on the trails. You're going to feel some rocks. You're going to feel roots. So if you hate that, the shoe's not for you. But quite frank, I loved running in the shoe. I felt fast. I was able to drop the paces on here and I felt secure. I ran this out on a lot of wet terrain. You can definitely see the mud. I try to clean them up as possible, but I felt secure when I hit to, to keep going on the trails and push off. This handled it extremely well. The upper, very breathable. And quite frank, the booty, like it's just like a gust of the tongue, but like it's like almost feels like you're in a booty. This is really nice. I got a lockdown and I forgot the shoe was on. This honestly might be the shoe I'm wearing for my upcoming 50K because I liked it so much. I felt fast. <laughs> Well, there you have it. Those are the pieces that Brooks sent to me from the High Point lineup, and I loved every one of them. Like I said, the jacket, whoo, dynamite. If you're looking for a waterproof jacket, that's the jacket to go look for because it fit me really well. It's more of a relaxed fit, so if you want to wear your 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 um, vest underneath, boom, really good to go. But also, if you want to wear it on top, it fit really well. Again, I don't... <laughs> It's a really nice material. Sometimes it, like I was like, oh, it's too baggy. If I put a vest on top of it, it's going to feel weird. But it didn't. Oh, I'm going to put the vest underneath. It's going to be too big. No, it really wasn't. It just fit me extremely well. And then, of course, the Catamount 2 is, I think, is 10 times better than the first one. It just fits better. It feels better and delivers a ride that's just going to be it's just, it's just really nice to run in. So, you know, again, I want to thank Brooks for sending this gear out to me. I definitely highly recommend. Go check out the High Point collection from Brooks. And until next time, see you out on the run. Well, there you have it. Those are the pieces that Brooks sent to me from the High Point lineup. And I loved every one of them. Like I said, the jacket, whoo, dynamite. If you're looking for a waterproof jacket, that's the jacket to go look for because it fit me really well. It's more of a relaxed fit. So if you want to wear your, your, your um, vest underneath, boom, really good to go. But also if you want to wear it on top, it fit really well. Again, I don't, it's a really nice material. Sometimes it, like I was like, oh, it's too baggy. If I put a vest on top of it, it's going to feel weird, but it didn't. Oh, I'm going to put the vest underneath. It's going to be too big. No, it really wasn't. It just fit me extremely well. And then of course the Catamount 2 is, I think it's 10 times better than the first one. It just fits better. It feels better and delivers a ride that's just going to be it's just, it's just really nice to run in. So, you know, again, I want to thank Brooks for sending this gear out to me. I definitely highly recommend go check out the High Point collection from Brooks. And until next time, see you out on the run. Well, there you have it. Those are the pieces that Brooks sent to me from the High Point lineup. And I loved every one of them. Like I said, the jacket, whoo, dynamite. If you're looking for a waterproof jacket, that's the jacket to go look for because it fit me really well. It's more of a relaxed fit. So if you want to wear your, your, your um, vest underneath, boom, really good to go. But also if you want to wear it on top, it fit really well. Again, I don't, 
it, it's a really nice material. Sometimes it, like I was like, oh, it's too baggy. If I put a vest on top of it, it's going to feel weird, but it didn't. Oh, I'm going to put the vest underneath. It's going to be too big. No, it really wasn't. It just fit me extremely well. And then of course the cat amount too is, I think it's 10 times better than the first one. It just fits better. It feels better and delivers a ride. That's just going to be it's just, it's just really nice to run in. So, you know, again, I want to thank Brooks for sending this gear out to me. I definitely highly recommend. Go check out the high.